गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट ओजेनेसिस एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ओवम इन फीमेल इज कॉल्ड ओजेनेसिस नाउ ओजेनेसिस बिगिंस ड्यूरिंग द एम्ब्रायोनिक डेवलपमेंट स्टेज Two million gamete mother cells, which are called oogonia, are formed within each fetal ovary. No more oogonia are formed after birth. These oogonia start meiosis and enter into the prophase one and get temporarily arrested. This stage is called primary oocyte. this is primary oocyte which is a diploid cell contains 46 chromosomes now this primary oocyte gets surrounded by a layer of granulosa cells now it is called the primary follicle just now we have seen this the primary oocyte is surrounded by a layer of granulosa cells and this whole unit is called primary follicle primary follicle means the primary oocyte which is surrounded by layer of granulosa cells right okay large number of these follicles degenerate during the phase from birth to puberty at puberty only 60000 to 80000 primary follicles are left in each ovary at puberty in each month only one primary follicle gets surrounded by more layers of granulosa cells and a new theca and are called secondary follicle we will see this so this is the primary oocyte diploid cell surrounded by layers of granulosa cells as well as theca cells this whole unit is called secondary follicle okay secondary follicle soon transforms into tertiary follicle tertiary follicle is characterized by a fluid filled cavity called antrum and the theca layer is organized into an inner theca interna and an outer theca externa the primary oocyte within the tertiary follicle grows in size and completes the first meiotic division after the completion of first meiotic division two cells will be formed one is larger secondary oocyte and the other one is very tiny first polar body and both cells are haploid right since these are the products of first meiotic division so we will see this tertiary follicle this is the tertiary follicle here you can see this is the large cell this is the large cell this is the by product of first meiotic division that is secondary oocyte i didn't include here the first polar body because first polar body generally degenerates and here you will get the antrum that is the cavity where you will find fluid and this is the outer layer is the theca externa the inner layer is the theca uh, interna and these green cells are granulosa cells as well okay tertiary follicle further changes into graafian follicle just like this secondary oocyte forms a new membrane called zona pellucida surrounding it the granulosa cells surround the zona pellucida are called corona radiata okay so this is the this is the graafian follicle granulosa cells are here these green cells are granulosa cells theca interna theca externa are as it is and this is the antrum and this is the zona pellucida layer this red one is the zona pellucida layer which is surrounding the secondary oocyte and this corona radiata or cr 
that is surrounding the zona pellucida and the whole unit is called graphene follicle. Graphene follicle ruptures to release the secondary oocyte that is the ovum that is now called as ovum from the ovary by the process called ovulation. So this graphene follicle is ruptured and the secondary oocyte now you can call it ovum it will come outside the ovary. This process is called ovulation. So this is our secondary oocyte now this is haploid cell which is surrounded by a layer of zona pellucida as well as corona radiata. Remaining parts of the graphene follicle transform as the corpus luteum. So when the graphene follicle ruptures some cells are there those cells will form the corpus luteum. So this is the process of oogenesis. Okay, so this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.